Thank you all for your support and prayers on the Atiwa campaign. The campaign is doing very well and these are some highlights of recent successes. The community, community members who we have always hoped for that they would take ownership of the campaign and tell government you know, not to mine bauxite in Atiwa so that their water uh, will remain. Um, the community members, especially opinion leaders and key members who were pro bauxite, were taken with the media to visit a bauxite mine. And um, they have access to the mine, they met the community, and they realized that many of the things that have been told them uh, of jobs and of mining practices and methods that would not destroy the forest was not true. Um, they came back and they organized themselves to talk to their own colleagues and to sensitize their own colleagues um, to put more pressure on government. Um, that side of the campaign is going very well. On the World Water Day, they fetch water, clean water from the forest and walked 95 kilometers to the seat of government to present it to the president and say, leave our clean water alone. And that was very symbolic. It got a lot of media coverage and it got many of the citizens of Ghana talking and also supporting the campaign and the fact that Atiwa should not be mined. Through that action, uh, the president asked the Minister of Environment uh, to meet us, to meet Arosha and, and the team. So a team of 10 met the minister. More information was requested from us, which was presented to the president. And we had feedback from the minister that these, uh, the information had been presented um, to the president and there's a possibility of further discussion, further talk. Um, the channel of dialogue, which you know we've been looking for um, since the beginning of the year. We've also had some key persons, some scientists in Ghana writing and speaking up to support the campaign. At the international level, we've had some collaboration. We've had IUCN International write a diplomatic letter to our president drawing government attention to Ghana's own commitment to some of the international protocols and also the reason why Atiwa should not be mined. We've also had a letter from E.O. Wilson, you know, the biodiversity man, to our president, uh, which we shared with the media, urging government why Atiwa is very unique. In country, there's a lot of momentum, and each day the media is picking up the issue. The battle is not won yet, but the campaign is going very fine. So we still will count on your support, on your prayer. It's, it's so nice to know that you are praying for us, and you are with us, and that's all we need from you. And thank you very much.